Hi guys, Ashantin here, how are you? One of the problems of returning from vast trips with great bags full of stuff is when you have a complete collection, how do you show it off? Now, I have, as you know, been doing all sorts of things here, but I wanted to show you an idea that I've put together, even though it's not fully complete yet, um, mostly because I have the wrong sort of fir tree, would you believe? I never thought I would want the very big ones, the vast, vast things, but I need them because I've got the wood here, but not the tree. Now, this area is one that I'm working on over here. I had grown the perfect willow tree and I managed to accidentally cut some of these droopy bits off. And this one is not perfect now, so that's got to come down. But I needed a bridge across. So I have built this bridge and I've built it out of this green fir wood because I think it goes well with the sort of muddy color of the green here. And I've, this is, um, as you can see, a half slab, so nothing could spawn on top of the bridge. It's a bridge that doesn't sort of go up, over and down. It basically just goes down, across and down. So it needs a slightly different treatment from a normal bridge. I've put garden lanterns at each end, as you can see. I started off with them in the middle, but because the bridge is going downhill, this was not a good idea. Whereas having them illuminating the steps on either end and both pointing in the same direction picks up the sort of flow of the bridge and yes guys you're going to see a lot of garden lanterns now what i did do then is i dropped the side of the bridge by one and put plant pots i had to put um, a lantern in the middle and i was desperately hoping that they would i could put these wrought iron lattice in and that it would stand on top, but it doesn't. And I didn't want to sort of hang them on either side. I was going to get far too many lanterns. So I stood them on the ground. They look quite nice there, actually. And then I put the entire collection of azaleas. Fortuitously, the bridge just happened to have the right number of slots. And so I've got my azalea collection shown off on the bridge. I think is rather nice. Rather nice. <laughs> so the one thing I am slightly unhappy about with this bridge is the wood. I chose it because it fits into the background um, but I just wonder. Uh, I would like the other fir wood in there. The willow doesn't really go, I don't think. I think the more muted green shows off these plants better than the brighter green of the willow. I don't think the willow, it would look fine from the side, um, but I don't think it's going to go well at the top. It's going to be too bright a green. Because I've got the lamppost stuck in here, I don't want to put this um, I was going to put a, a half slab on here, uh, which I think is the right thing to do perhaps, but I don't like the idea of the green willow showing against this. So I think what I need to do is to go and look for um, this type of fur, and that would do better, frankly, if it comes down to the ground, but we can address that when we change the wood. So I think that's the only wood that would have that you need this real yellowy colour in it. Um, but I think that that actually, let me go and stand in the water. I think actually as a downward going bridge, with the exception of the wood, that works rather well. So guys, a nice little bridge. Now, one of the other things I have a problem with Oh, by the way, I have captured a couple of cows because if I'm going to go into the nether with all those wither skeletons, I'm going to need buckets 
of milk with me. Mm. Mm, yes. And this roadway is sort of coming up here and it's going to go up here. This may or may not stay and then it will come over here and go down here. I've taken the tree out that was here. I felt I needed access. So we're now expanding our territory this direction. Always nice to expand the territory. Now, coming down here, ah, yes, oops, in the carpenter's barrier, that's what I want. You can hear my passive mob trap working. I've got to replace one on the other side. Oh gosh, I'm getting hungry. I should have a lot of stuff because I've been running to and fro so much. This was me taking the um, cows across my territory to get them into the... I found them in the cherry woods over there when I was looking for fur. Um, and I have a huge fir wood there. It just happens to be the wrong type of fir. So all this is looking very good. Now, guys, I have two problems. As you know, I extended downstairs and upstairs on this wing, downstairs and upstairs on this wing. So at the top over there, we have brewing. So I have a brewing setup beginning here and a trophy of course however I don't have nether wart and that means this, this is just a couple of uh, potions of water breathing that a couple of witches threw at me but without nether wart we have to return to the nether to go and search for some which is amazing I've actually reverted to the normal layout for the time being until I get enough diamonds to upgrade this table. I am so short of diamonds, it's unbelievable. I have one diamond pick and one diamond. I have a chest full of stone. I have mined for hours, but I'm not having much luck finding diamonds. Our little mushroom collection is very nice over there. And these mushrooms don't seem to spread, so it's a very nice collection to have. Over here, as you know, we have the pottery table and I'm going to go online to see if I can find a video on that. Downstairs from the pottery area, we have this huge bank of dyes and stuff, all my raw time making kit and the beginnings of what I think may be an underground conservatory. I put some glass up there to let light into here, which is rather good. That's the fish collection up there. Now over here, I had such a failure, guys. Um, I decided to make ender pearls, which is fantastic, except that to make ender pearls, you go through so many recipes, it's just not true. I mean, it was extraordinary the amount of stuff. And you have to make a frozen bubble. I'm looking for my notes on this because to make a frozen bubble I went through so many different bits and pieces it was just extraordinary anyway I ended up with roast rosin that's you bake resin to get that I ended up with soap that took some doing glass bottles are easy thank goodness I've got sesame seeds sugar's easy and charcoal's easy um, but I went through buckets of lye buckets of this, that and the other. Anyway, the upshot is I ended up with some soap solution, which is one half of the recipe, because if you look up the recipe for ender pearls, right, um, and uh, pearl, there you go. This half I can do, because I've got an ice village where even an ordinary water thing turns to ice and so but I haven't got I have not got a silk touch pick and this side is extraordinary because this this ender bucket is the byproduct of this and you've got to get water thrown through an ender rift right 
at midnight. I mean, it's all very, it's all very sort of, you know, it's like a seance really. And this one, right, you need four encrusted obsidian blocks. And these things are two obsidian, an emerald and one diamond which is fine, but you've got to put these things in a diamond shape. And of course the problem is I only have one diamond, let alone sort of, you know, four or five or six, however many it takes. So um, this is not really, it's not really um, going to be good for me. However, where have I put my atlas? I've cleared so much out of my inventory at the moment. Here we are. You may remember, guys, that we have over here ominous woods. So I think that my next adventures are going to be entering the nether to look for netherwort. Oh joy, with all the wither skeletons and the blazes. And also to travel to the ominous woods. It's raining to travel to the ominous woods to go and let's see if we can get rid of that noise let's go down escape the rain yeah and to travel to the ominous woods to go and actually um, try to do some enderman farming because I keep finding endermen and I keep looking at them and I keep fighting them and they don't drop any ender pearls <laughs> they're just being mean so we have two expeditions of huge danger guys the nether and the ominous woods and on that note bye bye